We thought that women will lose the progress gained for gender equality after the coup that was brought by the rich elite with the backing of the police, the military and the extremist religious organizations. Wahid's first public speech was given to a gender segregated audience, something that we have rarely seen in the Maldives. At the same time, another rally was taking place on the other side of the beach with thousands of women marching the streets of Male, calling for Wahid to leave office immediately. After days of rallying, we marched to the Maldives Human Rights Commission's office on the 6th of March 2012. The Human Rights Commission the police brutality speed on our way back, we stopped at the president's office. We have a little snow and acid follow home right here. Then, we got contrast to here so every armed every such and name Hathiar and every psychology and name by a Kadima for a Mianani full right here. The same defense force that refused to confront the police mutineers on the 7th of February did not hesitate to use disproportionate force against us peaceful protesters. They continued to use excessive force to silence us. It seems that the voice of the Maldivian women cannot be suppressed through force or religion anymore. The women of this country have spoken and are determined to not only be heard but listened to as well.